Hello. You want to see something that really seriously pisses me off? It has to do with those batteries right there and my SWR analyzer. Let me show you something. I, uh, I bought a set of 16 rechargeable batteries at Amazon, right? Um, I think it goes through batteries, man. These have been in here. Those batteries, the Duracells, have been in that analyzer for about a year and a half. And almost always when I use that machine, I plug it in to an AC adapter, okay? The battery voltage for the 10 was still well above 12 and a half volts. So that's above 1.25 volts per cell. The battery shelf life should be in excess of 10 years. Those batteries are barely used, man. So I took my analyzer apart to install the rechargeables and I was shocked at what I found. These Duracells were leaking acid all over my SWR analyzer battery uh, holder. And man, you know what? I take good care of my equipment. Uh, I've had to work hard for what I have in life. You know what I mean? I freaking retired at the age of 60 and uh, damn man, you know, what I bought, yeah, whatever, man. I, I can't just go buying crap like that all the time. Um, <laughs> look at this, man. I hope I can get this camera to focus. Look at the cells on the left. Come on, focus. Look at the five cells on the left. They didn't leak, but look at these, man. Please focus. Look at that. Look at that, man. They're not worn out. They're a year and a half old. There's no way in hell those Duracells should have leaked in my SWR analyzer. My advice to you, <clears throat> help and advice for the newer ham and the old fart alike. Do not ever, ever put Duracells in your equipment. That's freaking crazy, man. That's nuts. 73.